today we're doing a versus. In the past we've done a drone versus drone. Today we're going to do a payload versus payload attached to the M300 drone. We'll be comparing the speed and quality of the Zenmuse P1 against the Share 102S. This is sort of a third party but also well-renowned brand that uses an oblique five camera system to capture mapping and ortho mosaics. If all this is sounding a bit weird and you want to know more about these specific cameras, we've already done two videos, so make sure to check them out on the Pacific payloads. Today, we're just gonna get straight into it and do a versus, uh, starting with the Zenmuse P1. We'll start by showing how quickly it's gonna take or how slowly compared to the share UAV it takes. So let's get the M300 in the air with the P1, start our oblique map that you do with that, and then we'll get onto the share one. So here is our area that we are mapping. Uh, as you can see, it's roughly 18, just over 18,000 meters squared. Uh, and you can see there'll be five different flight paths in which I'll be carrying out as it's an oblique mission. Uh, we're calling this the P1 versus, and we'll be using the Zenmuse P1 35 mil payload, as explained, with a 45 degree angle for the oblique parts of the mission. Uh, for the ground sample distance, we'll be working on the oblique GSD, making it as much as we can, one centimeter per one, a pixel. And then um, that's as close as we got. We couldn't quite get it bang on one, but we'll be doing the exact same with the share UAV settings in terms of GSD but then we'll also be making it the exact same speed for takeoff and speed meters per second as it carries at the mission being six was our chosen speed. You can obviously play with these settings to make things quicker or more accurate. So we're now just gonna execute our five flight routes to make sure everything's okay with the health management system. It's telling us roughly 15 minutes is our estimated time, but um, I'll at time it specifically and let you know it at the end how long it took from takeoff to landing. So off it goes to carry its five different flight routes, which is always very satisfying to watch. So the total flight time from takeoff to landing was 19 minutes and 26 seconds for the Zenmuse P1 and its oblique mission. Now let's bring it down and get on the Share 102S payload. So that was the oblique mission with the Zenmuse P1. Obviously it needs to do five flight paths and I've talked about all the settings. Everything's gonna be the same when using the Share UAV, except that we're not doing an oblique mission, we're just doing a normal mapping mission. As I said, it's got five different cameras all going at different angles. So it's gonna be a lot quicker. But of course, when you do that, you're losing the same full frame sensor quality that you get with the P1. So after this mission, we're gonna to cut to the studio and have a little look at both the mapping missions and test out the quality and see if there's a big enough difference that you don't wanna lose that quality in terms of just gaining a bit more speed. So let's get the Share UAV up and then we'll head back to the studio after that. So as you can see here, we've got the exact same flight area with just over 18,000 square meters. As you can see, it's only doing the one flight path as I've explained, because it has those five cameras, four at different angles. It's gonna create its own oblique ortho mosaic. It doesn't need to do all the different angled flight paths like you have with your Zenmuse P1. It says an estimated time of four minutes, but again, we'll tell you the exact time at the end. For our share UAV, our GSD ground sample distance we got exactly at one centimeter over pixel so exactly the same pretty much as the P1 and our takeoff speed and our speed during the mission is exactly the same as well so to keep everything fair all the settings are the same the GSD the mapping area the speeds now all that's left to do is send it on its way talk about the final flight time at the end and we'll also talk about the big difference in flight time As you can see, that was a lot quicker and it came in it from takeoff to landing at six minutes and 34 seconds for this mapping mission from the Share 102S.
So here is the fully rendered Earth mosaic from the Zenmuse P1 out of DJI Terra. As you see, it's just going around and rendering it all. Uh, please excuse the quality a wee bit, take it with a pinch of salt as it's just a screen recording. But as you can see, you're able to do some photogrammetry and some measurements with the 3D and also the 2D images that you get from doing both. The P1 is a 45 megapixel full frame sensor, so it possibly can be a little more accurate, but it also depends on whether you're using RTK or not. We just use GPS, but you still get high grade deliverables through this system as opposed to using RTK through a network or GNS station. You can really see the quality when zooming in here using the P1 on some rocks, which is a separate section. But now we move on to the sheer UAV. And as we just zoom in here on this abandoned rail track that used to be used for dropping off fuel as this used to be a pumping sort of area for a nearby airport. Anyway, irrelevant. Uh, so this is the share data. You can see it's it's still pretty solid. It's very good data you're getting. 24 megapixels per, the, per lens. With those five combined, you're getting 120 megapixels combined. Share has more overlay and overspill on the edges of its mapping compared to the P1, hence why there's less dark areas as well. Another factor I haven't mentioned is the share is lighter than the P1, 650 grams against the P1's 800 grams. So that will make a huge difference uh, to flight time, especially when using it over large areas. So we'll just show some side by side comparisons of the two payloads here. And that's about it really for this comparison versus video. As you can see, overall the share is a lot quicker and has a lot of good bonus features. Some people like to stick with the P1, but it's all personal preference on what you need most for your company and your use out of mapping drones. So just let us know if you have any questions or thoughts down in the comments. We'll always make sure to get back to you. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video that should be coming with you very soon.